Hello and welcome to another update video about Silica. Yeah, Silica also one of the veteran cryptos that already existed here around the last bull run in 2018. We then, um, yeah, that was basically the first wave one in terms of um, Elliott wave count. Yeah, this was the first impulse wave one. We then came down here in a wave two. Um, believe the low was actually here in March 2020. From here, we started in another wave one and we're currently coming down again in a wave two. The next wave would be a wave three, ideally. Um, we need to do that um, to really start moving because obviously wave one, two, this should have been it for the wave two. Can we come down lower? Let's take a look because this target area here was located between the um, 88.7 and 78.6 FIP level. And we found support roundabout at the 88.7% FIP level. So a drop below that would not be good for the chart. It turned around just in time, as I always say, around the 88.7% FIP level, which is um, roughly at three cents. Had it dropped below that, it wouldn't have been good for the chart. Typically last exit, is the 88.7. Now it did that obviously, and it moved up all the way to 22 cents, amazing, from down from um, around about three cents to 22 is amazing in a very short period of time. Obviously I told you that after the 2nd of April, you'll get a reversal. This happened, that was because of their event. It was foreseeable that you get that. Um, what was not foreseeable was really how far you can come down. Obviously, the ideal level for such retracement is exactly in this area. So this is what makes sense at the moment coming all the way, counting these FIPS for that wave. Um, it makes sense where we are coming down into at the moment, which is we broke the 78.6% level of that wave which is at 7.6 cents. And again here, last exit of this move for um, a potential uptrend is here the area around five and a half cents. This will be the next support. We've dropped below all Fibonacci levels and the next move up needs to happen at 5.6 cents. If it doesn't, then there is a risk that we go down to 3.4 cents and maybe even lower and that wouldn't be good for the chart so this is really last exit 5.6 cents um otherwise it comes back to the point where it started that move and that typically isn't great for the chart then the probability decreases that this here was still an impulse because you can count this in a five wave move at the moment you can also count this here in a three wave move this would be another wave one this would be another wave two but below 5.6 cents, it gets unlikely that it's a wave two. It would have then just been a corrective move and we have to expect even lower prices, even lower than 3.4 cents. For now, however, uh, it is still looking good, yeah, because we are still above 5.6 cents. And if I look at the indicator, I mean, the downtrend strictly is not stopping, but um, we're now getting into the oversold territory where it's getting interesting again for silica. So we are oversold on the eight hour, we are oversold on the daily, we are oversold on the four hour chart. We can't, well, yes, there is now a bullish divergence actually on the four hour chart. Yeah, so making lower lows on the price chart, making higher lows here on the RSI, which is a first sign that the downtrend is losing a little bit of steam. Um, that is something we need to keep an eye on. It doesn't mean it has to break out tomorrow to the upside, but it is something that um, certainly is worth observing. But again, what I need to tell you is five and a half cents is the logical next support level, typically in a wave two. And this here could be another wave two down at the moment. Yeah, in an in a breakout scenario to the upside which I would actually give quite a high probability given how impulsive Silica did move up in the end and how corrective it is now coming down. That is actually looking quite good. Um, you can just see how different this move is. Yeah, impulse and correction. Um, 
a little bit of a problem I have with the fact that we dropped below the 200 day moving average here in yellow. So that is above us, not a big problem, but just means that it will be more difficult to move back up. But typically in a wave two, yeah, we have this area here between the 88.7 and the 78.6% FIP level. We already saw that Silica reacted to it here. Yeah, that was the, um, those were the Fibonacci levels of the overall move of that larger correction of that larger wave one and the wave two, which means we could now be in that wave three of the same degree. But within that wave three, again, a wave three also has five waves. We could now have done that with the first wave, the second wave, and the third wave should now move into this region here. Um, no, one sec, that's not true. This is for the overall move. I take that out just to avoid some confusion. But the third wave, if this is now a one, two, and the price is going to turn around in this area, then what should happen is that it should move, yeah, all the way up in the next wave to 37 cent as a minimum. So there is quite a bit of a move that could be, if we drop a little bit lower, nearly be a 10x um, or 8x or something like that. So I'm keeping a close eye on it. Personally, it's a bit risky at the moment um, because we are still in a downtrend. So personally, I would wait for a confirmation if something happens here. That means some sort of bullish signal, some sort of um, bullish green candle or yeah, any signal that the downtrend is over at the moment, you would try to catch a falling knife. Yeah, um, and there is certainly more downside potential to five and a half cents. The good thing is that five and a half cent level, which is that 88.7% FIB level is also um, previous resistance here. So basically a retest of the previous swing high would make sense as well. That's actually a little bit higher. That starts already at 5.9 cents. So it's something I would keep an eye on. So good potential here in summary that Silica finds support here. It's oversold now. Um, it's coming into a very critical region for a wave two and this could be a wave two where it then gets a really good chance to turn around at 5.6 cents. And then if it does that in a breakout scenario, it would move to at least 37 cents. Problem if we drop below 5.6 cents, then there's a good chance we see the previous low at around 3.5 cents. All right, so hopefully you liked the update about Silica. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership and um, yeah, maybe even check out the trading course I'm currently publishing chapter by chapter on my website, morecryptoonline.com. And you can find all the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.